today I have an exciting video for you. I went to Walgreens. I hate this chair. I went to Walgreens earlier to get dry shampoo. I didn't get dry shampoo, but I got a lot of makeup. I actually have a whole nother bag here full of new drugstore stuff that I know. I know. This is ridiculous. I know it is, but I do it for you and I do it for the reviews and I'm just so excited about all this stuff that I had to pick it all up and try it out for you guys. And Wet n Wild was one that I noticed I wanted to try a bunch of different things from because they had so many interesting new things out for the new year and I, I couldn't pass them up and I figured I would just dedicate a whole video to all the Wet n Wild products and do like a live demo for some impressions and just kind of share these products with you guys. So this one's going to be all about Wet n Wild and their new products and then, sorry, my sweater hair, or not my sweater hair, but my sweater, like the stuff on it is getting all over my face. Let me know in the comments if you kind of like the grouping, hauls, reviews, first impressions, demos in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video if you do like it. And yeah, let me show you guys some of the new stuff from Wet n Wild. The first thing is something I've never seen before. It is the Wet n Wild Brush Up Brush Cleansing Cloth. I've never seen anything like this. Basically what it is is a cloth that you can spot clean your brushes with. And it's 25 pre-moistened brush wipes. It's fast drying, easily dissolves and removes oils and contaminants. So, let's smell it first. Ooh. That smells kind of good. I don't know what it reminds. I don't know what it reminds me of, but it kind of smells good. It doesn't smell like really bad. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys all the products I get first, and then we'll kind of do like a makeup tutorial, first impression stuff um, throughout the video. So with these, I want to say I was watching so many drugstore videos, and like just within the past couple days, and nobody swatched these that I saw, and I was like, are those creams? Are those powders? I don't know because they look so perfect in the pan. And it just looks like a cream to me, doesn't it? Does anybody else think it looks like a cream? If they're creams, I don't want to try them. If they're powders, I 100% want to try them. And I just had to go to Walgreens myself and figure it out. And they are powders, if you are wondering. This one is the caramel toffee one that has the yellow toned powder and then the other bronzer, which is darker. And then you have the Dolce de Leche, which has more of a beigey highlight and then an ashier contour shade. So I'm super excited about these. I can't wait to try them out today. I'm just like so pumped. And then they also had an illuminating palette. This is in Catwalk Pink. I am so excited about this because first off, it looks beautiful in the pan, but the stripes are so big that you could just dip your highlighting brush in there and use whatever color you want or you could swirl them together. And I think that is amazing because usually stripes like this are really small and you can't just use one, you know? So I appreciate that and I can't wait to, to test out these colors, especially this one right here. Wet n Wild also reformulated their blushes. I already had the other two so I didn't feel like it was necessary for me to buy them. But I don't have this one. This is in Rose Champagne and it's the Color Icon blushes. These are like a staple. They have been for years for almost everybody. They're just great. And the packaging is smaller which I appreciate. I did get three brushes from Wet n Wild. These I got actually at Walgreens. And the first one is a flat top brush. I can't guarantee if I'm going to use these today because I have to wash them and everything. But I did get a flat top brush. I'm going to open these up and just show you guys. And then I also got a small concealer brush and a large shadow brush. The lady said they had just put these out and they were having a hard time keeping them in stock. And as she was saying it, I was like taking each one one by one. And I was like, oh really? I wonder why. That's why. Because people like me take like all of them. And then the next thing I'm super pumped about is the Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Colors. This one is in Charred Cherry, which is more of a mauve. And then this one is in Honey Hickory, what is it? And then this one's in Hickory Smoked, which is more of a nude. Aren't those gorgeous? Like, I I hope these are great because they look absolutely beautiful. This one is not going to be a first impression. I have tried it, and I will go ahead and just tell you I do love it because I think it's so great. It's so lightweight and just feels really great on the skin. And it is the Wet Wild Instant Flawless Complexion Highlighting uh, Pen. I got the color... Posing nude. Okay, and then I also got a photo focus setting spray. I'm kind of iffy on this packaging, but I wanted to try it out and see how it works. And I kind of want to look at the ingredients as well. Okay, and then I got two new eyeliners. I got a thicker one. This is the graphic marker liner. You can see the tip is more dramatic and thick. And then I also got the uh, felt tip eyeliner. This one's the fine one, which is a little bit pointier and would be great for for winged eyeliners. I got two more products. I'm pretty sure I have this one, but I got it just in case 
this isn't the one that I have, but I'm pretty sure I've used this. I'm pretty sure. So this is the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder. It's in Matt About You. It's just a translucent mattifying powder. I have one just like this. It was from the Fergie collection. So if this is the same one, then I love it. But I figured I would pick it up just in case it was different. And that's what that looks like. And then I also got an eyeshadow palette. This is their Studio Eyeshadow Palette. And coming in Latte. And these are beautiful. I'm hoping these have the pigmentation like the old school um, six pan eyeshadows from Wet n Wild were. They were amazing. I remember I used to have like three of two different shades because I loved them. And then they discontinued them and I was just heartbroken. So hopefully these are good. So we're actually going to try these out first. So after a lot of hard work, I finally got it open. Oh, and it comes with like a flat brush and a blending brush. We're actually, well, I'm going to try it out with that. But this is what they all look like. And I want to quickly just swatch a couple. Okay, I can already tell you a couple of the pans are falling out. I don't know if you can see right there, but they're already falling out. I'm going to see if I can press them back in there. They don't want to go back in there. I'm going to try out this gold. Ooh, very nice. It's kind of bronzy shade. Okay. Now let's see the black. Okay, these are looking promising. The first thing I'm going to do, I am going to use this brush because it just came with it. I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to put that into my crease. This is a very fluffy brush, which I enjoy. Like that looks really good to come with a palette. And I'm just going to blend that, like I said, in my crease. You can see the difference right there. It's not too intense, but you can build it up. And this blending brush is really soft. And you just want to use a really light hand with it. It doesn't distribute a ton of product, but it's not like absolutely terrible. I wouldn't throw it away. I would keep it in the palette. Okay. I don't hate it. Looks good. I'm like eyeing this color. This is my kind of color. This bronze shade right here that I swatched. So I'm going to take the flat shader brush on here. I'm just going to put that on my lid. Okay, not a huge fan of the flat shader brush, but that's okay. I do find I have to pack it on a little more, but... I mean, it's not terrible. It might honestly be even just be the brush for the reason why I have to pack it on so much. Because it is such a dense brush and it doesn't really pick up that much product. So, that's probably another reason why. Then I'm going to take the darker brown in the palette, which is right next to it, and just deepen it up a little bit. It's a dark brown. I don't hate it. I'm going to clean this up. Don't worry. That's what happens when I don't put tape on. I just get crazy. Okay, so all in all, I really do like this little palette. I think they blend very well. I think the flat brush in here could be a little bit better. It kind of takes away from the color. If you can see on my lid, you can't really see the bronze shade very well but the darker brown went on really well and so did the crease color with this little brush. But if you're in a pinch and you need a brush, I think this will be fine. And I really do like the shadows in here. They also have a cool toned one with more purples and blues. And I don't know what that one's called, but I knew I would use this one more. So I would definitely check this one out. Okay, so we're going to try out these two liners. I want to try out the thick one first. It's in Jet Liner Black. And again, this one is the Graphic Marker Eyeliner. Let's see how this one applies um, on my eyes. Ooh, it's chubby. So it's a really chubby stick. Super, super thick. Wow, that, that's one swipe. That was like, look. Oh, that's a marker. This is not eyeliner, this is a marker. So I'm going to apply this and see how it applies. The only thing I can tell right off the bat is I wish this kind of like went on like a marker, you know, like the top could be on, but it's not a deal breaker. Is it cool? Okay, so that is that one right there. Only thing is I noticed I messed up a little bit more with it because it doesn't glide across the eye as easily just because it is such a thick wand. But this eyeliner is so black and nice. Like, I 
I don't mind it at all. I would have to clean up the outer liner just to make it a little more sharp and crisp. But I think with more practice, I would be able to do a winged liner in like a heartbeat because you can just take it, place it, get the little wing, and then scoop it up and you'll be fine. So I like this. I think this one is a win so far. So let's try out this other one. This is again the fine tip one. So hopefully it has like the same formula because this stuff is freaking intense. And this one is in Black Noir. And this one does have a smaller packaging. This is definitely more travel friendly. And let's see. I like that felt tip right there. Oh yeah. Just as black. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Okay. Let's do it. Oh. I love this one. The main reason why I love this one more than the thick kind of marker one is because the felt tip gives a little bit more so it's easier to work with. I do worry if the felt tip is going to kind of dull out a, a little bit over time because I noticed it started to kind of like shape a little bit differently at the tip when I was working with it. But I I love this one. This one's definitely my favorite. Um, so if you do wings liner or you want something that's really easy to glide across your eye, I would pick up the smaller one. If you want to get more wild and practice your wing liner and make it really easy, I would do this. Okay, so now I've got a foundation on, which I know is too light. This is a new foundation, and I'm trying to find my shade, so that's okay because we can use bronzer to warm up the skin. But I wanted to show you guys the new concealer that Wet n Wild has, and it's the highlighting and concealing pen. Again, I am in Posing Nude. I really do like this stuff. I think it's great. I think it's totally worth the money. I love the twist up. I think it's great for travel. So I'm going to twist it up a little bit. And I'm going to put this underneath my eyes like I normally would. It is a little messy, but it's really not terrible. And then I'm just going to blend out with my same foundation brush. And it's just really smooth, and it looks really great on the skin. Like, I, I really really am enjoying this concealer and it hasn't broke me out and it looks beautiful on date night so I just like look at it it looks so pretty I, I just can't say enough good things about it okay so now we're gonna play <laughs> with these bad boys we're gonna set our concealer I'm gonna use the wet n wild caramel toffee one first and we're gonna see how this works. I'm really excited. I'm hoping this is like as good as I think it's gonna be. I don't know if I'll use the contour shade. I might use the other one for the contour shade just because it looks it's lighter and it looks a little bit ashier. But I wanted to use the yellow powder in this so bad. The banana and then this contour powder. This contour powder is more orange. Let's look at this one real quick and see if this one's more ashy or orange. Because in the pan it looks definitely a lot more ashier. This one's more ashy and then this is like a light beige color. So I might use this one to contour and then the yellow to highlight. So let's go back into this one and take a brush. I'm just going to take my regular brush and set my concealer. It's a really fine powder from what I can tell and it mattifies the skin which I like because I usually put this in the center obviously to set all that concealer and just mattify the face so yeah I like that powder I have no bad things to say about it, it doesn't look cakey whatsoever just set everything and it's good so let's move on to the other palette which is the Dolce de Leche and use the contour one to contour my face I like it I really I like this more ashy tone for my skin. That is really nice. And it blends out very well. It's a fine, it blends out really well. It's a soft powder, looks really good. Just has a little bit of fallout, and that's for both palettes. Um, the yellow shade did have a little bit of fallout, but I mean, it's, it's okay. It's just like a really powdery formula, but it looks really good on the skin. It doesn't look cakey whatsoever, and that contour shade is what I love. I love this more ashy tone right here. I'm so sorry. My foundation isn't matching my neck, but you know, it happens to the best of us. All right. I'm excited about this blush. So you open it up and it comes with like a mini brush, but I don't ever use those. So I'm going to take my blush brush. Ooh, this looks so pretty. I'm going to 
apply this to my cheeks. Oh yeah. That's gonna be my new favorite brush. Or blush, not brush. It does have some shimmer to it, and it's like giving a really pretty glow. But the best part about these is they blend so well. Okay, now for highlighter. We're gonna use this one. Again, this one is in Catwalk Pink. It'd be really cool if they came out with like a more golden one. Um, I know they have some golds in here, but like the ones without pink because I'm not a big pink highlighter fan. I just don't like a lot of pink highlighters. So again, that's why I like the fact that this one has some thicker stripes throughout. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the more gold one. Like it's like a rose gold. I'm going to apply that to my face. Let's see about the other one. Okay, these are pretty. I like them. They're, yeah, these are really pretty. Okay, yep, I like them. I like them, but you can see right here all that fallout that's coming out of the palette, which it is a more affordable product. And honestly, I really could care less. But what matters is what's on the inside, and this is a great highlighter. Like, it is beautiful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these velvet matte lip pencils, and let's just go ahead and swatch these. And if you guys didn't know, Wet n Wild is cruelty free and vegan and all of that stuff, which I think is great. So this one is in Hickory Smoke. It feels really smooth. Looks a little sheer, but we'll see when we put it on my lips. See if it's like a good everyday, keeping your purse kind of lip color. And this one, ooh, that's pretty. This one's in Charred Cherry. So, to me, I think they look a little bit different than their caps. Um, they're a little bit more bright, and I didn't expect that. I expected them to be a little bit darker. But let's go ahead and apply this one. This is more of the nude color. I do like it. It's really creamy. It is a little more sheer than I expected it to be. But if you pair it with a lip liner, I think it'll be fine. Um, I don't remember if they have darker colors of these, but it feels really comfortable on the lips. The only thing I will say, it kind of does cling to your dry patches because I have some dry patches on my lips right now. But if you exfoliate your lips and moisturize them, you should be fine. I think if you're looking for a cheaper alternative for a matte lip color, these would be really nice and just like great for every day. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my face with this Photo Focus Setting Spray. Let's spray a couple before I just spray it out of nowhere. So it does have a fine mist. I'm like so scared I never use these. Mmm, it feels really good. It doesn't have a bad smell at all. And it feels like it's just like drying my face. Like my face doesn't feel more oily, which sometimes when I use things like this, I feel like my face is wet. <laughs> longer than after it dries but I like it and I feel like it gives like a kind of a dewy glow I feel like I just got a dewy glow out of that I might be wrong but I feel like I did this one I'm pretty sure I've tried before and I really like it it's just a translucent powder that mattifies you and they had one in the Fergie collection I really loved it and I think this is the same exact thing but I want to go ahead and try this brush up brush cleansing cloth so I'm gonna use an eyeshadow brush Let's see, which one should we use? This is my MAC 217, and I'm just going to figure out a way to show you guys how I brush it on here. So you can see it's taking off the color. I feel like I took it off. Some of these brushes are stained from obviously like really dark colors, but it says until it stops putting off color on the cloth is when it's clean. It did clean the brush. It's going to have to dry, but it cleaned the brush. That's legit. And it's not like soaking wet, but you can tell it's going to have to dry before you use it. So I'm pretty impressed by that. I don't think this is something I would use every day just because it's just, you know, one of those things. I feel like it's easier just to spray a brush cleaner on your brush and wipe it on a paper towel. But if you're needing something like right then and there and just want to quickly clean it, I think this would be great. This is awesome. This is really cool. Okay guys, so that is all the products I got from Went Wild. This is probably such a long video, but I wanted to try all of them out on camera for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I I love everything, honestly. I don't really have anything that I don't like. Like everything I tried today, I really do enjoy, and I think it just it was great. Like killing it, Went Wild, you're killing it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. 
And yeah, I will see you all in just a couple days.